What if heat can't do any work? In an isochoric process, the gas is trapped and all heat goes into raising temperature. In an isochoric process, the volume stays completely fixed. The gas can't expand and it can't compress. So here's the key. No work is done because work needs volume change. Gas particles just bounce around faster as you heat them, raising their temperature and pressure, but the container doesn't move. Think about heating air inside a sealed rigid tank. It gets hotter, pressure builds up, but the tank stays the same size. That's a pure rise in internal energy. Start again with the first law of thermodynamics. Heat added equals change in internal energy plus work. But here, the work is zero, so heat added equals change in internal energy. For an ideal gas, that means delta Q equals NCV delta T. Every bit of heat just raises internal energy. None goes into mechanical motion. So in an isochoric process, no change in volume means no work is done. All the heat goes into raising internal energy, and that means rising temperature. It's simple, it's rigid, and it's how pressure cookers and gas thermometers do their job.